recent Buzzy Bee update in Minecraft where bees were introduced, I mean, it's in the title. I've been really hopeful that Minecraft will add more insects and bugs to Minecraft in future updates. I present to you the insect update. to the insect update, episode 10 in the Minecraft update series. Everything in the update will be shown on a list at the end of the video. Let's get right into it. The first thing in the update are butterflies. There's three new types of butterflies I drew in pixel art. First is daytime butterflies, then there's sunset butterflies, then there's nightwing butterflies. All of these butterflies can be found at any time in the day, but daytime butterflies are more common in the daytime, sunset are more common when the sun is setting, and nightwing butterflies are more common when it's nighttime. So they can all be found at the same time, but they're more common at different areas of the day. They'll normally just fly around, and if you do eliminate them, which would be kind of sad, they would only really drop some XP. So there's really no benefit of eliminating butterflies, because I mean they're pretty cute and very detailed. The next part of the update is frogs and scorpions. Starting with frogs, they were shown in the Minecon 2019 biome vote for the swamp, and even though swamps weren't picked, mountains were, but I still think that frogs are a really good fit, and we do kind of know that they're in development, because we know that Minecraft is thinking of bringing frogs into Minecraft. I mean, they gave us the possibility to have them, so we know that Minecraft is thinking of bringing in frogs. I think that frogs would use their long tongues to eat butterflies and other creatures in Minecraft. I think they would just be really cute. They would jump really high. And overall, I think they would do really well, probably in swamp biomes. Next is scorpions. Scorpions can be found in desert biomes, and they do pack a pretty good punch. They'll have a good amount of health, and their stinger on their back, I think it's on their tail, will probably poison you and do a good amount of damage. But if you do defeat them, you'll probably get a good amount of XP. Overall, I think that scorpions will add that little bit of suspense going into a desert because it will be pretty fast, pretty powerful, and they will pack a punch. So far in the update, we've seen many different mobs, but the big question is, how are we supposed to catch these mobs? For fish mobs, we can catch them with buckets, and you'll see like a fish in a bucket, which you can use to make aquariums, but how are you supposed to get bugs? I introduce you to the bug net. The crafting recipe is shown below. I think that the bug net would be a really cool item to have in Minecraft. You would use it just to catch the different creatures and you just see like a bug in a net, kind of like the fish in a bucket. And I think that nets are a pretty cheap item to have and they'll still be really, 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 really useful. The next part of the update is terrariums and hanging terrariums. When I was playing Animal Crossing New Horizons and I got the recipe for terrariums, I instantly knew that this had to be in Minecraft. It would just go so well with that gardening theme where you can decorate your house and the environment around it. The crafting recipe is shown below. First, you need to craft a bouquet of plants or flowers or grass. It takes a couple different stuff like shrubs, grass, kelp, flowers, leaves, and once you can craft that, you can make terrariums. The recipe is pretty basic. There's regular terrariums and hanging terrariums, and I think they'll be really cool, and they'll be used so much when decorating houses and making cool like gardening areas. I honestly think that fans will really like terrariums and they just look so cool and I think they really fit into Minecraft. The last part of the insect update is oranges. I was really hoping that Minecraft would add new fruits in the past updates and they haven't really done that except with sweet berries. So I think that oranges are a perfect new fruit to add into Minecraft. You would just find them in trees, just like with apples. And I think a cool new mechanic could be shown where you can actually see the fruit on the trees because it kind of just feels weird when Minecraft's trying to recreate a real life environment, even though it's all blocky, but you don't actually like see the fruit in the trees. So I think that it would be really nice to actually see the fruit in the trees. Also, you can actually craft 
orange juice with orange. It's just a bottle and some oranges, and you can craft orange juice. Now, this does recover some hearts, but one cool thing that orange juice will do is that it can attract animals to you. I don't mean like animals come from afar to talk to you or just come sit next to you, but when you're trying to maybe get near an ocelot to get a cat, it won't just scurry away in the first sight of you. you maybe come a little bit closer for a longer period of time, so it's a lot easier to tame different animals. Finally, we have fruit cake. I believe I mentioned chocolate cake, and I think that fruit cake will go perfect. We have vanilla, we have chocolate, now where's fruit cake? The recipe is shown below, and I think it'll be a nice new addition to the cake family, and I think it'll be really cool to add into Minecraft. Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, Potato Sensei, out.